All right, so here's a super simple way to solve the Josephus problem. And no, it's not with the computer. This is just my proof here, proof of my concept. Um, so essentially, the Josephus problem is basically all these soldiers stand in a circle. And then, for instance, one soldier kills the next guy and so forth and so forth. And to be the last one standing, um, you'd have to be a certain position in that group, which is calculatable. Now, there's a whole long equation. You can do it with like a binary method or some real long arithmetic problem. But, you know, the best way to do it is just say, make it easy, right? So if there's, say, 45 people, right? So 45, simple. What you do, you take one, double it till you can't go over. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, up, oh, too much, so it's 32. So get rid of 32. What's the remainder between 45 and 32? That's 13, if my math is correct, which I'm pretty sure 45 minus 32 is 13. So 13, uh, double it, 26, add 1, 27. So start simulation, it should be 27. look at that 27 easy come on guys you guys need to make these math problems simpler when you solve them I know you want to make these all these big proofs all these youtubers put these big proofs out there you know let's do a bigger number oh you only go up to 50 on this one that's it okay so we'll do the largest one he has here which is 50 so 50 32 18 so remain to double at 36 add one is 37 so you got to be the 37th position with 50 people. Start simulation. 37 should be the last one here. And yes, it's the last one. Zoom in on that there. I did that math in like five seconds. How to solve the Josephus problem in five seconds. Now I'm not sure if that was five seconds or not, so let's just go down to 30. So you got just start the clock now so you got 16 you get a remainder of 14 double it that's 28 add 1 29 look at that 29 let's just say under 10 seconds how to solve the Josephus problem under 10 seconds simple super simple